Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Stay close to me, and you'll be safe. Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, I got a little video here talking about, like a, it's like a little bit of a speculation type of video here, but what are we going to be needing for completing a 5 star, 6 star, and maybe even 7 star event for Padme? And what we got to look for is a Separatist faction. And if it's going to be anything similar to the Chewie event, which it sounds like it will be a lot similar to the Chewie event, um, if you if you want to go back and, and uh, check out like like what was needed, you really needed stuns, you really needed ability blocks, and some nice DPS. So let's go after those three categories: ability block, stun, and DPS. Um, stuns first. Let's see. A massage does have a stun on her basic. So let's check that out. So yeah, cruel strike. Um, only a only a percent chance of the stun, so definitely not really reliable. She does have some nice TMR here, um, and a nice AOE here. So she possibly could be important, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that it's gonna be coming down to the bugs and of course the droids. In this video, however, I'm not going to be going over the B1 and Droidica. This is more for a free-to-play type of player like myself, who won't be uh, getting these guys a 7-star or let alone 5-star for the event. So what we're going to be talking about is we'll be going over everybody besides those. So so we talked about like a stun. Um, somebody else who has a stun is the IG-100 guy on his stunning strike. So... That also has a dispel if there, no, if there are no buffs. So that's very cool here. Uh, don't don't waste any Zetas on these guys. Um, just try not to. Um, so there's a few stuns. And then of course Count Dooku is going to have some stuns on a basic. And on his forest lining. But they're all percent chances. So they're not very reliable. So I think uh, Magna Guard is going to be having the most reliable type of stun here. Uh... So yeah, so we got the stuns figured out. Let's check the ability blocks. And the one guy that I'm thinking of is going to be very important for this event if, if you want to try it as a free-to-play player. It's going to be Poggle. Um, he has a percent chance of ability block on his basic. He also gives offense up for all allies. And then droids get speed up for three turns. And then he gets some uh, TM um, as a percent chance. And then he gets some evasion too. So evasion, um, typically in every other part of the game, it's not very um, useful. But when it comes down to events, if you have an evasion tacked on to an, to like a maybe like if you want to use Dooku with Poggle, he gets that extra evasion. So this could be like the RNG factor when it comes to this event is going to be just a lot of evading maybe, and then trying to land your ability blocks and stuns. Very similar to the Chewie event. Um, the Chewie event did have Boba Fett to land the really nice executes, though. And in this team, you really don't have, besides maybe Geo Spy, that can really do some nasty damage, some nasty DPS. So I might, if I can, I can probably get him 5 star. I'm not sure if I'll get him 7 star in time, but if you, let's go back. If you read his kit, um, it's not this one, it's actually this one right here. Um, if they have any positive status effects, dispel all um, status effects on Geo Spy, and he's like a little X key right here. He deals forty percent more damage for each effect dispelled. So it's gonna be nuts. Um, I think he'll be very, very good if you guys do happen to have him at a reasonable star count to use. And other than that, we went over um, my uh, the stuns in the category Count Dooku, IG one hundred, and Asajj. Um, you get some nice dispels. We got a dispel from Geo Spy we just read there, um, and Sudfac has a basic dispel, which is going to be very nice. I think this will be another huge character right here. Plus, he has counter chance, so every time he does counter, he's going to dispel a buff, and he gets a taunt too. I think this guy's going to be very big. And then he got B two right here. I think B two and Sunfac are going to be very huge. 
for the Dispels, especially since GK is going to have a taunt up almost every single turn. So, this is the ability right here that dispels everything, plus he gets 100% TM whenever, it's a 40% 40, 40 chance, but he does get 100% TM when somebody does, does get hit. So, that's very cool here. And then there's the buff, the buff immunity that he's going to have, which is going to be really huge in this event since uh, you got a lot of people that are going to be taunting. We don't know what the, uh, if you look at the screenshot, I'll uh, try to pull it up. The guy on the far left, the new Jedi that we don't know, he's going to probably have some sort of taunt, sort of like in the in the C-3PO event, the, the soldier guy had a taunt also. So just even more of a reason to get somebody who has a buff dispel and buff immunity, so... So we got over some of these guys and their, use, their uses in uh, this event. Now we got to talk about leaders. Let's see the leaders. Um, Asajj is one of the leads here. The only problem with this lead is that it's really only with Night Sisters. Um, so definitely probably not going to be the best here. We've got to try to figure out something that's more centered around Separatists and Droids. And GG does have a solid Droid leader. Um, he has some minus per, or 50% uh, penalty to defense and minus 40% crit avoidance. So yeah, that just means you can land some more crits and do some a bit, bit more damage. So that could be potentially really good. And besides that, I if I have to, I might Zeta that, but I don't think I really want to. Um. So yeah, he does get some target lock synergy. But really, nobody here does have target lock besides... I take that back. A lot of these droids actually have target lock, so... Yeah, um, Grievous, if you do happen to have, um, like, IG-100, B2, and if you do happen to have B1 or Droidica somewhat up there, that's a very solid team. I'm guessing that's going to be the best team to actually get this event through with without having too much of a trouble. But if you guys do not happen to have B1 or Droidica like myself, I'm probably going to lead towards a Count Dooku lead. And this is uh, going to be the RNG Fest with the uh, dodges, 50% evasion, and offense up whenever they evade. It's not going to be a fun event, guys. I can tell you this right now. If you're not going to be using the B1 or Droidy Cut, it's going to be very, very hard. Um, but as a free-to-play player, I think Count Dooku is going to be very important with the percent chance of stuns. And he has shock, so he can even have some... Uh, he can he can counter the taunts so they don't get him, and he gets ability block too. So him and Poggle with ability blocks going to be huge. Sunfac and Magnegard and and B two here all have dispels. If you want to throw an Asajj, she can, but she's not really going to be there to do much besides doing maybe some stuns if she does have the chance to hit and the uh, the buff dispel. So what I'm going to lean on using and what I think you guys should have focused down on if you are free to play and you don't think you'll be getting B1 or Droidica. I think Poggle is going to be your man. Count Duke is going to be your man. Sunfac and B2. You got four guys right there. And then if you want, you can even throw in Soldier if you want. He's got a nice little assist here. And on here, a little bit of uh, offense up gain there. And just as you know, should allies gain 9% crit chance. Okay. Whenever he scores a crit, he gets 50% TM. So that might be nice here. Um, it all depends on how the event kind of rolls out, but the ones you want to look out here is going to be um, B2, Kamduku, Poggle, Soldier, Sunfec, IG, Hunterd. If you had um, Spy up and ready to go, I think he's going to be very solid here with his nice big hits. And if you have uh, some of your droids built up pretty nicely, Grievous will be, of course, very nice. But the, the little weird one, the little black sheep of all this, is going to be Asajj. You really don't know what to use her with. I mean, leadership not going to be happening there. Whenever somebody dies, she gets some extra stat bonuses. So probably don't want that to happen in an event type of a battle. But I'm guessing this might be kind of huge for the, for the heal and for the buff dispel. And then possibly the stun. So... Yeah, um, this is just like a little overview, like maybe uh, some speculation of uh, what could be very good for a free-to-play player. Um, definitely you want to look out for some nice big buff dispels, like we, we went over here. Some buff immunity, stuns, ability blocks, similar to Chewy event, so try to be looking out for guys who have that built in. 
And last but not least, I did forget to mention Newt Gunray, and he is pretty easily accessible from the arena, the arena stuff for the for farming him. And his whole kit is based around being stealth and doing some nice hits while he's stealth and getting t um, turn meter while he is stealth. So his leader is stealth allies gain 55% um, crit chance and gain 50% um, TM the first time they score crit hit during their turn. So let's back out of here and let's see who does have stealth. You get Spy here with the stealth. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> that's about it for the stealth guys. And they they might be a nice little duo here for this event. And maybe if you want to use Newt with some, some Geo Spy, Sunfac, Poggle, and, and Soldier, that might be a very solid team. Um, just try to play around Spy and try to get him built up with his damage and his, uh, his crit damage. Try to get as many hits as you can in the event, but we still don't know. This is all speculation. Um, so yeah. He has some Thermal Detonators. This might be a very solid, actually, leader here. But yeah, this is, this is all speculation, guys. Um, as a free-to-play standpoint, I just wanted to give my input on what I think would be really good characters to farm and to work on while we um, have this uh, little downtime before the event. So, if you guys, uh, if you guys think any of these others will be nice uh, in like a team, like a little team lineup, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a like, share it with others, and I'll see you guys later.